The Niffin are a brand new renowned faction who we meet in patch 10.1 in the new zone, the Zaralek Caverns. And with this new renowned faction, there are a handful of new features, systems, and rewards being introduced as well. So today, I'm going to walk you through how to effectively farm renown with the Niffin, how to navigate their new features and systems, and we'll also take a look at some of the main rewards you can get from increasing your renown. You will unlock the Niffin Renown after completing the introductory questline for the Zaralek Caverns, which should only take you roughly 20 to 30 minutes. Continue the main storyline for 5 to 10 more minutes to unlock Zaralek Caverns world quests. These will be a great source of Niffin reputation as the majority of the world quests in the Zaralek Caverns will be related to the Niffin, with the exception of Dragon Riding world quests and a few Dragon Scale Expedition world quests too. In addition to world quests, you will also be able to take part in zone events around the Zaralek Caverns. These zone events are similar to world quests, but the difference is that multiple players can contribute to the same event to complete it faster. However, one player can still complete these events on their own, it will just take a little longer depending on which event it is. You can find these events identified by the small horn icons on your map, and once you're in the area, you'll be given the objective of the event. Completing world quests and zone events will reward you with a small amount of Niffin Renown. There is also a weekly event in the Zaralek Caverns that will grant considerable amounts of Renown with the Niffin, as long as you complete enough of the stages of the event. The event is called Researchers Under Fire, and once it is active, you will be given a handful of different objectives to complete consecutively within a time limit. Most of these objectives involve killing elite mobs, so players may struggle to do this solo at first. I would recommend joining or forming a group for this event if there aren't other players around to help you. There are a total of 12 different objectives you can complete before the end of the event, but you have to complete your current objective to unlock the next. And the more objectives you complete, the better your reward will be. Completing zero to two tasks will reward you with nothing at all. Completing at least three objectives will reward you with a white quality reward cache. At least six objectives will reward you with a green quality cache. Nine objectives rewards a rare cache. And completing all 12 objectives will earn you an epic quality cache. These caches will all contain some amount of Niffin reputation, Unearthed Fragrant Coins, which are a new currency we will touch on in just a moment, possibly some gear, and a chance at the Devourer Lobstrock Battle Pet. And of course, the higher quality cash you earn, the better your rewards will be. Unearthed Fragrant Coins are new to patch 10.1, and they drop from clinking, dirt-covered pouches, which are rewards from various world quests and zone events in the Zaralek Caverns. These coins can then be traded into Spin Sower in Loam or Shadow Flame Crest Fragments, which can be combined to create a Shadow Flame Crest, the new gear upgrade item in patch 10.1. If you'd like to learn more about how these gear upgrade items work, I have linked my guide to Shadow Flame Crests and Flight Stones in the description below. You can also exchange your unearthed fragrant coins for coveted baubles. These coveted baubles can then be traded into Sacratos, the vendor next to Spin Sower, who will offer you cosmetic rewards including the Diamond Shell Snail Battle Pet, the Subterranean Magmammoth Ground Mount, and the Igneous Shale Wing Flying Mount. The Niffin faction also offers a handful of new, optional features for players to take part in if they want to. Firstly, players will unlock Sniffin Seeking, once they finish the first chapter of the Embers of Neltharian campaign. Sniffin Seeking is a single player scenario where you and a Niffin named Myrit dig underground to hunt for treasures locked behind various puzzles. In order to take part in Sniffin Seeking, you need to give Myrit dig maps, which can drop from the Niffin weekly quest called A Worthy Ally Loam Niffin. You can also purchase a dig map once per week from the bartering vendor in Loam, who we will look into in more depth later on in the video, and if you're not sure where to get your dig maps from, you can ask Myrit for a hint and he will tell you where your missing dig maps can be found. Players will also be given one dig map per week by default. Just be mindful that Myrit can only hold three dig maps at a time, and one dig map will be consumed each time you start a sniffin seeking adventure. 
Once inside a sniffin-seeking scenario, you will be accompanied by Myrit, who you can pick up to gain a set of abilities. Burrow causes yourself and Myrit to dive underground, allowing you to move past enemies undetected and avoid various AoE effects in the scenario, such as poison clouds. While burrowed, you can choose to emerge to come back up to the surface, or you can dig to uproot a buried treasure if you are beneath one. While above ground, Myrit can sniff out treasures, and if there is one nearby, a small cloud will guide you to its location, and if there are no treasures around, Myrit will say he can't smell anything. You can also put Myrit down, command him to follow you, and leave the scenario. Be mindful when you are holding Myrit that you are unable to use your normal combat abilities, so if you need to fight things, you'll have to put Myrit down. A sniff and seeking adventure is complete once you unlock the main treasure chest, which can only be unlocked by solving various puzzles or finding specific keys from around the scenario. These scenarios are generally very small and they shouldn't take you very long to complete. Upon completion, you'll be awarded with 250 Niffin reputation, some Dragonal supplies, a chance at some profession reagents, as well as Zaralek glow spores which is a new crafting reagent required as part of various new crafting recipes. The other reward that may drop from time to time are barter bricks, which we will look into next. Bartering is a new system that players unlock after reaching Renown level 3 with the Niffin, where you will be introduced to Ponzo. Ponzo offers a variety of cosmetic rewards and profession-related items in exchange for barter bricks and barter boulders. Barter bricks can be earned by completing sniff and seeking scenarios like we just saw, but they can also come from world quest rewards and treasure chests around the Zaralek caverns. Barter boulders don't become available to players until they hit renown level 12 with the Niffin, as these are more valuable than barter bricks. The most notable cosmetic rewards from bartering are Thimble Rig, the green crystal snail battle pet, and the Boulder Hauler Reigns, which is a shale wing flying mount. The Niffin have a maximum renown level of 20, with each renown level offering you a couple of rewards. The main rewards you can get from the Niffin are unlocking the bartering system at renown level 3 so you can farm cosmetic rewards and profession knowledge if you would like to, receiving a Drake's Shadowflame Crest and 75 Flight Stones at renown level 4 to help you upgrade gear early on in the patch, receiving additional flight stones at renown level 6 and 17, as well as a Worms Shadowflame Crest at renown level 20. You can also unlock Barter Boulders from renown level 12 to allow you to purchase more cosmetic rewards from bartering. Two Beetle Battle Pets called Pauly and Rango become available to purchase at renown level 15, and finally at renown 18, you will unlock the Morsel Sniffer Reigns, which is one of the new Shalewing Flying Mounts. That is everything you need to know about the Niffin Renown faction in patch 10.1. If you have any questions about any part of this video, please do feel free to leave a comment down below and I'll do my very best to help you. Thank you so much for watching, have a wonderful rest of your day, good luck farming your Niffin Renown, and I hope to see you again soon. Bye!